Just in time for Valentine's Day, I've got a wooden ampersand you can make. I actually made this one as a wedding gift, which is why I put the date of the wedding on it. When I want to make a project using contrasting woods, it's pretty hard to beat walnut and maple. I want to resaw the walnut pieces into two thinner pieces using my table saw. I'll just make a pass through one side, flip the board over, make a pass on the other side, and then raise the blade. These two maple pieces are the core. I'll glue those together on their edges. I'll sand these walnut boards down smooth. I'll glue these thinner walnut pieces right to the face, kind of like a veneer. I let that dry overnight and now I've got a walnut and maple sandwich. I printed out this cutting template on two sheets of paper and then just taped them together. If you've never used one of my cutting templates before, I've got a short video that'll help you get started. I'm gonna remove these two center shapes first so that the base of my jigsaw has something to ride along while it's cutting. I'll cut out the outside shape with my bandsaw. And that leaves me with a lot of sanding. Well, that was a lot of sanding, especially getting into all of the little nooks and crannies. It took a, a couple of hours to get it sanded. I'm gonna round over all the edges using a quarter inch round over bit on my router. The router won't get into those little tight spots, so I need to round those over by hand. then a lot more sanding. The only thing that would make this wedding more perfect is if they got married on the 21st. Then I wouldn't have to do that cutout in the zero. <laughs> And it looks like I have a lot of sanding to do on these numbers. Now I can glue all these numbers on. A few coats of spray lacquer will really make the color of the walnut and maple pop. And there's the finished piece. I think it turned out pretty nice. It looks elegant. It would look nice on a mantle or wherever they want to display it. It was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. That's just because it took so much sanding to get into all of those <laughs> nooks and crannies.
It was a lot of ampersanding, you might say. And if you would like to make your own ampersand, I've included the template I used for this one down below. You can download, minus the date. And I'd like to thank you for watching Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I post brand new woodworking videos on this channel every Friday. Don't forget to check out the Woodworking for Mere Mortals website at formeremortals.net where you can check out projects other people are making, post your own projects, download plans, and all of it is free. You can also post your projects over at the Woodworking for Mere Mortals Facebook page. I always like looking through your projects there. Or Twitter or Instagram. Use the hashtag for Mere Mortals and it'll show up on the website too. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next week. Ampersanding.